So I decided to record a recent shopping trip to Nation's Fresh Foods. It's a small uh, grocery store inside Jackson Square. This is the King Street West entrance to the underground parking. So there you can see to the left the Nation's Fresh Food sign and the hotel sign. So you're going to be following the green signs for Nation's and the west end of the underground parking. There you can see the clearance sign. And here I'm going to post the information on the free parking that the store in Jackson Square offers for shoppers of nations so there's all the information so you do have to spend a minimum of thirty dollars before taxes in nations and what you do is uh, when you come out of the store with your store receipt and your parking ticket so remember to bring your parking ticket with you into the store you're gonna want to head to the left elevator bank and there's a security guard at a desk you're gonna show them your receipt and your parking ticket and they're gonna stamp the parking ticket for you and they validate it. And then when you drive out either the Bay Street or the King Street exit, just present it to the person in the kiosk and you'll have your free parking for the time limits that I just showed you. So you can just approach this door, it will open up automatically. And then just around the corner, you come up to a ticket taker kind of uh, panel and you just press a button and get your ticket and remember to bring your ticket with you inside the store so once you're underground here you're going to keep following to the west all the way down to where nations is and where the hotel parking is and the easiest way to do that is to follow the colors of the pillars are green at the very west end and there's two elevator banks the one to the furthest west has uh, shopping carts that are available for a dollar. I'll show you that in a second. So if you're doing a fairly large grocery shopping uh, trip, you want to grab a, a large cart. Uh, if you're doing a small trip, then you can just use one of the red carts inside the store. Okay, so there you can see the one dollar each uh, shopping carts. So I don't know how often these are cleaned. Uh, Due to the pandemic, I'm not sure, but uh, just be aware of that. So here's the main entrance for Nations, uh, just off of Bay Street. And you enter through your left, where those green lockers are. And as soon as you come in, you'll see red rolling carts with a long handle. So if you're just getting a small amount, you can use these carts. The time I was in the store was Friday between 10 and 11, so it was not very busy at all. But this store can get pretty crowded, especially on a Saturday. Uh, midday so just keep that in mind if you're planning a shopping trip so this is kind of the first look at the produce section so they offer a lot of exotic fruits that you can't find anywhere else so uh, this is kind of the the reason to go to this store too is to find that uh, specialty fruit if you're making a, a dish that needs that uh, ingredient so they had these 10 pound bags of small onions on for $1.99 so I was planning to make some onion powder from them I do once in a while so if they're on special I, uh, I take advantage of that. Uh, the other thing that this store carries a lot of is uh, specialty salts so this is a Himalayan sea salt and I usually pick up a bag of this as well so the prices are pretty fair but the main thing is it's not easy to find at other stores especially in these quantities. Okay so I'm going to show you throughout the video some some products on the shelves that maybe are unusual or you didn't even know that they carried so you know, rock salt, Himalayan rock salt is something you don't see everywhere else. And throughout the store, you'll see these stack outs of specialty goods. So you can spend quite a few hours in the store if you wanted to, just uh, just looking to see what's available. And in between the specialty goods are the regular standard uh, in the aisles, like, you know, uh, standard grocery items. So I did pick up this Demerara. Uh, cane sugar, uh, it was three pounds, I think, for two ninety nine. So I got a couple of those. And one of the things I like about the store is they have two or three sections of of spices. So you can see here, this is just one aisle, uh, all kinds of different spices. Some you can't get at other stores, but uh, it's not just the one aisle. There's other aisles with spices as well. So you have to kind of keep uh, meandering through the store if you don't see it the first time. I would say the prices are uh, on par with uh, major chain grocery stores as well, especially for the quantities. You usually get a bit more at this store in a little bit larger packages. 
The one thing about this store, the employees, I wouldn't say all of them are fluent in English, so just keep that in mind if you kind of have a concern or you're trying to find something, um, it may be difficult to uh, to communicate that to some of these staff because, it, again, English is not maybe their first language, so just keep that in mind. So here's the chicken thighs that were on special. They have quite a variety of uh, meat specials and meats that you don't usually see. Like for instance, there's here like pork tongue, um, all kinds of organ meats. They even have a lot of duck, like Peking duck, uh, both in raw form and uh, um, baked. So just to have a, a look through the store and have, see what they have to offer. So these are some, the pork section and some of the side ribs that they had on special. So yeah, the prices can be very good. I would say the sometimes you'll they're not butchered very well, like there's a lot of fat on them. So you just keep that in mind. It's not going to be uh, as good as a, as a high-end butcher. And there's kind of the main meat counter where you can buy things from behind the counter as well and have them cut. And this is just a general area of the seafood section. So you have packaged seafood, uh, both fresh and frozen. So sometimes they have good deals on like frozen salmon fillets. And then just around the corner, they actually have a special room where they have fishmongers that are you know preparing and cleaning fish um, and whatever you want they can they can cut it for you so there you can see some of the frozen products and then this is inside that room so a lot of shellfish um, they have snails um, live fish in tanks there you can see them all laid out So quite a variety of, of fish um, to see and to purchase. And there you can see some people, I think they were buying some fresh crabs, so they were going through uh, the live crab tank and picking out what they wanted. And there is the counter in the back. I did end up uh, buying some cuts of salmon here that were on special. So I have yet to try those, but they look pretty good. And ob obviously you can find all kind of uh, end cuts and uh, fish heads, uh, things for soups and stews. And So again, it's quite a large store. You just have to kind of... Uh, work your way through it. Lots of uh, frozen products, uh, imported products. So there's a, it's pretty endless. So there's a lot of these refrigerated sections. Um, this section here features some kimchi, so a decent variety of authentic kimchi, either from Korea or China. And, uh, they're very good. I've tried uh, a few, but the one just off to the right coming up uh, with the red lid I've tried and it's uh, really good. But if you do your research and you know you want to try a certain exotic food, this is the place to come. They do have, like I said, a huge variety and it's kind of endless, these bunkers and these uh, sections here. So there you can see something that you don't normally see at other stores. They do have a wide array of uh, dumplings, so frozen dumplings and other types of foods that you can either boil or put in the oven. So this is their store made dumplings. Some are pork based, some are shrimp. I've had a 
few of uh, some brand name dumplings from that store and uh, it is good it's uh, a nice flavor it's not something you have every day but it's nice to try out here's another section of uh, basically tofus different types different types of soy products soy drinks and then you have your standard grocery items in uh, stand-up freezers and fridges so that's the nice thing about this store too you can still get your what I would call your regular grocery items along with uh, some exotic products this is their uh, ready to eat section which is busy during the, the rest of the day in the afternoon uh, I think this is what they make the day before and then they put it out um, so you can just buy you know some some duck or barbecue chicken or different dishes that have been prepared and packaged and kept hot so at this time of day it was pretty deserted there was no one around that that end of the store but I'm just kind of showing you what they have to offer they do have a seating area I don't know if it's open during the, the COVID uh, times um, and the entrance in the mall at this end of the store I'm not sure if it's open so I, I did not come in that way and I can't speak to that so here's kind of the uh, cheese uh, part of the cheese uh, corner or counter and uh, some of the products beside it they do have a decent selection of uh, specialty cheeses and some good deals here's their bakery section frozen burgers so yeah quite a, a vast selection of frozen goods and next to the bakery there's some a counter with desserts and their dairy section And then in that area, they also have, again, some stack outs or some, some specialty items, flyer items, things like that. So these were potato chips, I think two for a dollar. But they have some interesting flavors that you don't normally see, like tomato and uh, garlic and, and honey. So I, I didn't take it that time. But uh, what I did was interested in is this pure pomegranate granite juice. So it was one liter. And I thought it was a good deal for $2.99, so I bought two bottles. But uh, this is the stuff you find uh, either in the flyer or in the stackouts, and you think, well, it's a pretty good deal, and it usually is. Here's some pork rinds, quite a different selection of them. Just one example of an end cap with uh, different products. Obviously, I didn't film every single aisle of the store, just uh, picked out. Uh, few things here and there just to show you and it was nice because the store wasn't busy so I did kind of take my time to go through I was only there for less than an hour but I just wanted to film a few sections of the store just to give you an idea so again a lot of the labeling is uh, there's not a lot of English on it uh, some do some don't so you can always ask for help and this is kind of past the dairy section sorry for the shaky video here Kind of an endless variety of specialty drinks, um, um, many of them imported. So you kind of have to know what they are and what the ingredients are. But a lot of tetra packs of um, tropical juices and things like that. So. And some brand names that you see at other major chains.
And here you can see, again, stack outs of all kinds of products, uh, rice crackers and uh, dried peas that are flavored and different snack items. So it can kind of be overwhelming. That's the one thing about this store. There's so much to see and uh, I would encourage you just go for, uh, you know, an hour and just uh, kind of get the general layout of the store and see what's available. And then on a future trip, maybe spend some more time. But uh, this is the main checkout. So where I came in, close to Bay Street, they have uh, nine checkouts. Now keep in mind, they do not take credit cards. They only take debit or cash, which to me is not great. Uh, there's a lot of people that have uh, either points, reward points, or some kind of reward program with the credit card. But uh, yeah, they don't offer that. So I think to keep prices down, they only accept cash and debit. So that was my short trip, and hopefully you got some tips about Nation's Fresh Foods in Hamilton. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Bye for now.